Hey guys, I pray that you're doing great. If you just happen to click on this video because of the title and it being around April the 1st, um, that's okay, but I want you to know that this video is aimed at spirit-filled, Bible-believing, God-fearing, Jesus-loving Christians, anybody who's been truly born again. Um, but if you want to just kind of watch this video for entertainment or for for a laugh or whatever, I, that's fine. But um, yeah, this is for making a commitment to the Lord. Um, please um, seek Jesus with all you got this month. Um, I'm personally going to be seeking the Lord really hard, hardcore this month. Um, I'm going to be taking the kingdom of God by force, and I'm going to be seeking the face of the Lord. And I encourage you to do likewise. Um, I'd like to quickly just quote a passage. It's Matthew eleven twelve, and there it says, From the days of John the Baptist, the kingdom of heaven has suffered violence, and the violent take it by force. And we have to kind of wonder why Jesus said that. Why, why is it that the violent take it? Why not the weak? Why not the feeble? Why not uh, anybody? The violent or the forceful are those that have zeal for God. And I also checked the commentary, so this isn't just my imagination or uh, the words of uh, a great man of God that I respect, that I listen to on this. It's not just us. It's basically all commentators say this. Um, it's those that have zeal for God and without some fervency in spirit um, and some holiness in us, we're not going to see the Lord anyways. So we got to be forceful in taking the kingdom. It's not effortless. It's not effortless. Um, if you've been a Christian for any amount of time, you know that. I don't need to tell you that. But uh, yes, that's present to the kingdom of heaven. And um, let's make April the best month of our lives to this point, certainly of 2017. And let's press into the kingdom of heaven by force, take it, and uh, just take what's rightfully ours because we're royalty and we're accepted in the beloved and we're a nation of royalty, you know, as, as it says in, I think, First Peter, um, a royal priesthood. Praise God. All priests, well, all royalty. Ah, so great. Um, so yeah, just a couple more things. Let's have fervency and zeal for the Lord. And uh, yeah, I also had this thought. Let's just kind of go out, maybe on the streets, just kind of share the love of Jesus with people. If you're in a place where you can openly share the gospel without persecution or without having the concern, like in some third world countries, it's, it can be a bit tricky, you know? where there's communism. Um, not going to comment too much more on that, but yeah, you can go out. If you're in, in the West, you can easily go out, feed the poor, share Jesus, tell them, repent, repent, or you're going to die and go to hell. Tell them. It's the truth. You don't say it in that way, of course. Share the love of Jesus with them and tell them, man, Jesus loves you, you know? Kind of like Todd White and others, like um, Heidi Baker, Roland Baker, man. Just go out, share the love of Jesus, kind of can prepare a sandwich at home. You can prepare some food for them or you just buy something, you know, if you get a lot of money, you just buy some something from some kind of restaurant or something or you prepare it or buy groceries, just feed the poor. Um, it's awesome. It's awesome giving food away to the poor. It's so awesome seeing their smile and it's, it's great because it's blessed because we do it out of obedience. And we don't do it to be blessed, but because we love Jesus. Um, so just receive that love and uh, that fervency in Jesus' name. And uh, after this after this video, after you're done watching, just kind of make a commitment to Jesus that in this month you're going to serve him with fervency, with some zeal, with renewed love, and uh, you're going to cast off some of those distractions, some of that disappointment, discouragement that said uh, it's become a stronghold in your heart. Just kind of get rid of that, cast that off, man. That's, that's from Satan. Don't want, you don't... You don't want to uh, be unforgiven or carry unforgiveness in your heart or disappointment or discouragement. That's of the devil. Man, we can't be victims, guys. We can't be victims. There's a lot of garbage in this world, but you know what? Jesus is greater. Greater is he who is in us than he who is in the world. Amen. Uh, this is kind of now turning into a sermon. I hadn't planned that, but uh, see God, and this month is going to be the best month, okay? So just take that as an encouragement. Um, ask for the Lord. Ask from the Lord a fresh anointing, a fresh fervency of spirit, fresh zeal, fresh love, fresh infilling of the Holy Spirit. If you're done watching this video, and just kind of go with it 
and just kind of ask the Lord to fill you more each day with his love, spend time in his presence and prayer, uh, build that spiritual prayer closet where it's just you and the Lord one-on-one, -on -one, and then let your love, let your heart be filled with his love, because anytime you spend time in the presence of God, man, you're changed, you're changed, and you just charge up like a battery, carry that with you when you go out into the wicked world, and just loving people, man, because that's the way of Jesus. That's the way. So the church was called the way, man. That's awesome. Okay, just receive that. This month is going to be the best month ever. And receive a fresh anointing from God. Ask for it. And this month is awesome, okay? Believe it and go out now and kind of just rock the world for Jesus in his holy name.